shelf. I'm worldly myself. I'm not perfect, folks. I'm not on some high horse. I'm not here lecturing you. I know we're on the edge of World War III. I know the globalists are doing reckless things on every front. And I think the hand of God, in fact, I know, is the only reason we haven't already had a nuclear war or a huge bioweapons release. And I pray every day that we not totally collapse because history shows elites become arrogant. They become megalomaniacal and they destroy civilizations. Before they didn't have thermal nuclear weapons and bioweapons. I mean, the Huns thousands of years ago were catapulting plague ridden black plague bodies over Chinese fortress walls. So I guess bioweapons are ancient and aren't new, but I mean more sophisticated ones. I just want everybody out there to have a good life and to have a chance to be empowered. I'm not anybody's enemy. I don't want a war with the occupied federal government because I know that's part of the plan. I don't want any cops to be killed. And everybody knows I say that every day. I'm trying to stop a staged civil war. And so the response is by the Southern Poverty Law Center, ADL, Media Matters, CNN, MSNBC, and Glenn Beck is that I want a bloody civil war and I'm a racist. And that's because, ladies and gentlemen, they don't like the fact that I know who they are. They don't like the fact that I see right through their baloney. Now, do you agree with me that we're on the edge on so many fronts, economic, spiritual, cultural, biological, that, that we're not on the edge of a crisis. We're already going down into the valley. We're going into the valley of crises, into the pit. We're marching into hell. And I just want to turn this around. You know, these government-run churches tell you it's a foregone conclusion that everything has been predestined. Well, then why is so many times in the Bible do the prophets go and tell the people repent and turn back? And they do, and they get a hundred-year reprieve like Nineveh. Or God sent Moses to free the Israelites. I mean, or, or 1776. I mean, do we just have to give in to evil and say the world's over and this is the way it is? I mean, maybe it is. But, but I don't like people saying we can't do anything. Or every time someone stands up and says, let's try to be good, everyone says, oh, you can't do that. There's no such thing. I'm just one little guy who had dyslexia and a learning disability and could hardly spell who pretty much by myself built a giant independent media operation that reaches conservatively 15 million people, probably 20 million a week. I know the power of taking action. I know the power of good people. I know the power of free association and what you've done helping us to spread the word and what we've done for you together. As brothers and sisters in liberty, I don't care what color you are or where you come from, or what religion. I want you to have a future. I want justice. Cliven Bundy spoke out against blacks killing most of their babies. In his speech, the full unedited speech is on InfoWars. Is he racist for using the term Negro, United Negro College Fund, the Negro League? I mean, for old timers, folks, that's the term blacks wanted to be known as. Is he insensitive? No, he's a fossil pointing out the new slavery of the old, but MSNBC knows for modern yuppies ignorant, they don't know that. They play on your ignorance. Unedited video shows Bundy making pro-black, pro-Mexican comments. Go read it for yourself. It actually sounds like Jeb Bush talking about Mexicans. But it doesn't matter. By the end of the day, they'll say he hates Mexicans. Because they are the real race pimps creating divide and conquer. Is Clavin Bundy an FBI asset? No. No. Al Sharpton is. Does Clavin Bundy have a bunch of FBI on his staff? No. Lynn Beck does. And I just got done telling you the FBI, when I said on air... This guy needs to be questioned. They went and questioned the guy that wants the Ebola to be released. I'm not saying the whole FBI is bad. In fact, I've known FBI agents growing up. They've been really Boy Scout, really good people. The issue is they are compartmentalized. I've had family in the CIA.
Boy Scouts, you know, track stars, the quarterback. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds, is civilian legal in all 50 states, is 100% made in the USA, is veteran owned, and ships next business day for free. Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code WATER15 and get 15% off on all ProPure systems at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Listeners of GCN know governments and identity thieves around the world are illegally spying on our digital data. This puts you at risk of financial loss or potential targeting because of your political affiliation or spiritual beliefs. But now there's a new, free, and easy way to protect yourself. Regain your privacy and security now with Unseen. Unseen is a free digital communication service that offers email, chat, audio, and video calling, plus cloud storage. All secured with unparalleled encryption and is hosted in Iceland, where your data is protected by some of the strongest privacy laws in the world. For a limited time, GCN listeners get a 20% discount when upgrading to Unseen's premium service, which offers more storage and even greater security. Plus, get huge discounts when you buy multiple premium accounts. Perfect for your family, Bible study, political action group, or business. This isn't just your average radio ad. This is a call to action. You now have the power at your fingertips to stop Big Brother in his tracks. So why wait? Go to UnseenNow.com and take action today. That's UnseenNow.com. We are marching, my friends, the rusted chains of prison towards what all analysts openly say, all analysts I've seen on television or read, across the political spectrum, say could easily lead to thermal nuclear war. 
Russian submarines carrying supersonic hydrogen bomb tipped cruise missiles are now popping up off the coast of the United States, clearly to launch attacks if given the go-ahead codes against U.S. East Coast sub bases and aircraft carrier bases. Russia is openly saying that they are prepared for nuclear war. The keeper if the city keeper any put shutters of the globalist forces in Ukraine launch attacks on Russian interest. This is being done, my friends, so that they can bring Europe into a greater crisis and keep the EU from collapsing and suck tens of trillions more out of taxpayers to inject it into the globalist derivatives crime syndicate. And Soros has openly said that they need this crisis to bring in a new Marshall Plan. This is epic, and I want to now go to the current things that are happening, then to the past and into the future of the different scenarios that we face, ladies and gentlemen. This is out of CNBC. Russia wants to start World War III, Ukrainian Prime Minister, whose Deputy Prime Minister openly does Hitler salutes and wears swastikas. Again, this is all over the top. That's mainstream news. This is who Obama and the globalists put in power. When Ukraine wouldn't vote three and a half months ago to join the EU, I almost wish they would have. So this wasn't happening. Ukraine's always been part of Russia in the East. Russia's grabbing its gas lines. The NATO general said yesterday, we are there to cut off their gas to Europe to teach Russia a lesson. Oh, that's all Russia's got is its gas money, its oil money. They're trying to collapse Russia. They've got all these different groups like Pussy Riot and the rest of them in there trying to foment the overthrow of that government, really trying to push the Russians into confrontation. And again, I'm not a fan of the Russian leadership, but they're not starting it. They're not expanding. They're hanging on by their toenails. Russia wants to start World War III. Th these are the headlines. CNBC, AP, Ukraine foreign minister ready to fight Russia. Calls on the West for more troops that are landing in Ukraine and Poland with special forces and CIA. Hind helicopters that the Russians gave the Ukrainians now under Western control and tanks and armor, burning buildings, smoke, cities being invaded that are Russian, Russian enclaves, ethnic enclaves. And Lavrov said three days ago on Monday or on Wednesday, I guess, or was it Tuesday, three days ago. It's Friday now, time just flies, that if you keep attacking Russian interests, we'll attack you. And what did Putin come out and say? He said, Bloomberg, last night, warns of consequences as Ukraine steps up offensive. Bloomberg, Ukraine steps up offensive. We told you dozens and dozens of times when this all started in the last few months that they'll go in, they'll take over, then they'll start persecuting the Russian-held areas. The Russian areas will declare independence. Then the West will call them terrorists, not freedom fighters. When they just called the Western groups freedom fighters, they will go in with military and attack them, and the Russians will come into the Russian uh, ethnic areas to give them aid, as they pledge to do, and then if NATO keeps pushing, it'll become a theater war. And the Russians have said, if you start using high-tech missiles and weapons against our helicopters and against our armor, we will target NATO bases with mobile missile launchers with ICBMs. I said Russia will act the same as Georgia. Said that a month ago. Now Lavrov said three days ago. He said we will act just as we did in Georgia. I, I, I watched their press conferences. And here's the deal about the Russians. They actually don't lie that much. They just send the tax police to your house to break your nose if you don't pay. The, the, they don't make stuff up. Do you understand that? They didn't make it up with Napoleon or Hitler. They're not going to make it up now. You come up against their borders, they'll attack you. We're on the march.